Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Picking up right where we left off. Whoops. I forgot I took my bow off. Derp. Okay guys, that's that's enough of that. I just want to stop being bad for a minute. Just one minute, that's all I need. Okay, replenishment, you can help me out now. You know, I've never noticed it until now. But there's actually a level right there. Have I been to that? Oh yeah, I've been to that. Okay. It took me a second. I didn't realize where it was. Strafing around, a little stabbing in the back, all in a day's work. In a way, I kind of want to use the Great Shield, because I'm really not doing terribly much. Ow. Jeez. In the way of parrying, I'm not doing terribly much. That's what I was trying to say. As I was getting horribly wrecked. Ooh. Ah, my leg is cramping. Oh. Right under the knee. Oh, man, that's rough. That is rough. Ow. Damn, that hurts. Oh, come on. I like that they add a... Uh, Status effect icon when you are healing from something like replenishment. I do very much appreciate that fact, actually. Poison him, nice. I will say, status effects work surprisingly well. on random enemies. I didn't expect them to be as good as they are. Because previously they were kind of bad. Ooh, that one dropped an item. Was he using a flamberge? No, just a deep gem. That's useless to me. Let's go on up over here. Nothing over here? That's a shame. Stabby, stabby. So I'm not gonna go up there until this Estus effect wears off. 
Doesn't look like it blocks healing, but... Well, healing from miracles, that is, but... I lied, I'm impatient. These Grave Wardens do, in fact, scare me, though. As well, they should. Because they are kind of mean. Their bleed buildup is extremely, extremely quick. How did that miss me? Not a bad little set of drops right there. I'm actually very okay with that. And then unfortunately there's nothing hidden around this corner. I feel like there should be, but there just isn't. I also feel like this was a spot they considered to have a bonfire, but then decided against it later on. Just something about it makes me think that. It's a fair distance away. It seems like it'd be a good spot for one. You know, it, it just makes sense to me that there would be one there. But then they decided to add shortcuts. That's my opinion on the matter. They were considering it, they planned it, and then they removed it to add shortcuts. That's a good plan, in my opinion. Wow, that was bad. Next guy's on his way. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. that real quick. Get this ember. It's worth it for an ember at this point in the game. Just my opinion on the matter. And then we'll open up this. In a way, I'm surprised we actually haven't been invaded again yet. You don't deserve this. Lots of slime and narrow corridors ahead. That is a trap. I like how they don't cast because they don't want to break their table. It's a little bit silly. I'm kind of fond of it, though. It's like, no, our precious, glorious table. If we do something, we'll break it. And then here I come. A heathen, a vile fiend, set on the destruction of their beloved table. I'm a horrible, horrible person. 
I'm bad and I should feel bad. And there's the shortcut number two to the area. Hooray. So let's travel back to Firelink. Actually, how am I doing on souls? I'm gonna use everything. I wanna see how high I can get. I'm guessing right around 14,000. Okay, maybe higher. I forgot those were worth so much. I do have a bone shard that I should go back and use. However, I'm thinking what we're going to do instead, we are going to uh, wait a tad. Just so I can buy that thing. That key. Because I do, in fact, want to mess around in Firelink. I do. Not the best decision, not the best idea, but it's my decision and my idea. All that for a deep gem. And the souls. That's the primary reason I went and did it. I wanted them. How many souls are these guys worth? Sixty-five a piece. That's eh, not terrible. Not the most efficient method of farming souls up, but he'll get the job done for getting a few extra. And now we deal with this. I didn't expect the second one. I forgot what that item was. I thought it was another soul item, so I went for it. Very stupid decision, apparently. Horribly stupid. Stupid? Stupid. Blah. It was so stupid, I forgot how to talk. Tis a shame. Truly. Now, don't fall down the pit. Because that would be... Upsetting, to say the least. I want to get my 16,000, almost 17,000 souls back. Especially now that I have a soul item I can use to get the rest of the way there to the item I want to buy. I would be quite disappointed, slightly distraught, overall very generally upset, if I royally screwed up that badly. I'll be needing those. Alrighty then. That worked well.
Come on. There's a little miracle right there. This guy dropped an item. Thrall axe or hood? Deep gem. I always forget that they can drop deep gems. And where do you think you're going? I've got to say, I actually am enjoying the spear very much. I was saying earlier I was considering putting on the Twin Dragon Great Shield. It doesn't weigh that much more, and it offers a lot more in the way of stability. But, not 100% physical defense. So, really, in all honesty, not worth it. But, it was something that I had very, very, very briefly considered. Stabby stab. I'm confused as to why it flopped over on the ground again, but I'm not going to question it, because it actually worked out extremely well. That said, it was still a very strange sight to see. Huh. Alright, so. The plan here is as follows. Kill the Mimic. No! Are you kidding me? That grab didn't have me. That grab really should not have had me. I strongly disagree. I've pulled that dodge so many times. The game is wrong. <laughs> that grab was wrong on many levels. That is disappointing. That is disappointing. I don't know how many times I've pulled off that dodge successfully with the exact same timing that I just used. There's no good reason that that should have had me. Like I was past it and it pulled me back in. Don't you dare. Rude, Mimic. Quite rude. I needed that, though. It's a shame that I can't quite use it yet. I mean, I technically could give it to her, but she doesn't like when I give it to her. Um, yeah. I'll need to save it for someone later down the line, basically, who's a little more willing to learn it. Do I want to fight that thing? Is the Aldrich Sapphire really worth it for my build? In all honesty, it's not. I mean, I still have to go through this way. Get your little face over here. No 
know that other enemy is around still, and I don't trust it to not come after me. Do I want to go for the old rich sapphire? I'm actually kind of curious. Can I lure it back to this doorway and will it fit through? Yep. Whoop. Get your face back over here. Okay. No, no. Oh, good. You can do that. I had honestly expected that to not be a thing. And I know I missed the fight with Kirk, I'm well aware. I just don't consider that to be something terribly important at this point in time. And sure, maybe I'll come back for it later down the line. But we will have to see. At the moment, my concern is getting the shortcut for the bonfire and going to use the stuff in Firelink. I'll get that after I get the shortcut. So there's one path. That leads us farther in. That's the path that we will be taking before we go on through the main section. And then we have this path, which is our shortcut. Firelink, away! Because I have struggled enough with this section for the time being, now it's time to go to Firelink and struggle with, um... Well, nothing, really. A few jumps, I suppose. There are a few jumps that I'm not terribly great at. But otherwise, we're perfectly fine and well enough equipped to deal with them. I did die another time, so there very well might actually be the ability for me to level. And drop down there, there's a lizard for me to get. That's on the top of the roof, there's where the crows are on the top side of things. We will come back and get that before we deal with jumping off to do all of this. But the important thing that's up here... The important thing that's up here is over on this side. One Firekeeper Soul. I can give that to the Firekeeper to cure the Dark Sign. Well, not the Dark Sign, but the uh, Dark Sigil. Also, you'll notice that closed. Yeah. Some things don't change. Hi, friend. Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is going to kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. 
Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <laughs> oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> So there's a few options for how to do this. There's two paths, items on each side. Um, for this one, a roll, a jumping plunge attack is actually the strat. Except I did miss, which is highly unfortunate, because that means I'll have to go through again. I was slightly off with my positioning, but we have an Estus ring, which is actually very, very valuable, and we will be wearing it. Morn's Ring is great and all, don't get me wrong, but the Estus Ring is going to be a bit of a uh, more important thing for our survival's sake. Also, I don't remember this corpse on the tree. Alright. So, Patches is not going to be too happy, of course, when he sees us come around. I can't believe I messed up my jump. Oh, you moved over here already? Hi, friend. Ah, okay. You're... Now, hold your horses. I've come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. You, you get these urges running the business and all, and, and oh, oh, I, you know what I mean. You're alive, after all. Oh, for heaven's sake, no need to jest with a face like that. Oh, I... We're just a couple of outcasts. <laughs> so he sells some things that are kind of nice. A winged spear. Would be definitely a little bit of an upgrade from the uh, standard spear. However, Arthur's spear is already a considerable upgrade. So... Nothing terribly worthwhile with that. Poison arrows, great to have. I would love to buy them. However, not in the mood for it at the moment. So, that's that. So, we'll, we'll go another round at trying to get that item. We'll see if I can get the jump exactly right this time. Because that is a bit of a tricky jump to get. Gotta go at more of an angle like I did that time. So there we go. Now we just have to go back one more time to go to the other side and kill that lizard. Yes, it's repetitive, but it's what's necessary. A little bit of shopkeeping in Firelink, and while we're on the bridge, not the bridge, but the rooftop, we will mess with the crows. <coughs> huh, excuse me. Sorry about that. So, for the crows, we have a few items that we have that we can give them. Or it, rather. One being this. Pumperum, pumperum. pumperum. Another actually being this, apparently, but I'm not giving that up. Can't make me do it. Um, a lightning urn is one, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't have any of those. I don't think that a firebomb is... Oh no, looks like it. We get a large titanite for it, that's always nice. Uh, possibly a repair powder. Uh, 
I know a homeward bone is. But other than that, possibly a rusted coin. Yeah, I don't I don't remember the full list. So, me. While Father Lloyd's knights lived in fear of his duels of judgment, which verdicts were carried out by his sword of law. Gotta love it. Gotta love those, uh, you know, trial by, trials by combat. So, important thing to do over here. Knock down this ladder. Ting. More Twinkling Titanite. Hooray. What we've always wanted. And that will actually take us all the way back around. Over to here. Where we have the option to get inside of the building. Ta-da. And I've shown you guys that once before. So, no need to do it again. Huh. I thought I'd gotten that the first time. Alright, well, that's that, so let's head back on in. You know. In a way, that looks very similar. Huh. Just making an observation. Don't worry about it too terribly much, guys. Now you there. That's what I thought. Not more vitality, not quite yet. A respec will come later down the line, but even still, not worth the investment for the time being. I do, however, have four regular Titanite. So in theory, I technically could upgrade this. No, wait, that needs six. So what I could do, now that I need six as well. I'm just off. I can do this though, so I've got that going for me at the very least. It's interesting that this weapon actually gets more of a strength scaling than a deck scaling. I always thought that was kind of odd. I still hate the fact that I can't actually... Um... do the thing. You know what I'm trying to say. There's that, uh, did I still get, the, did I get those Firekeeper robes or not? I think that I did. Nothing quite looks right with them just yet. The hood just doesn't look right. That's going to bother me. So I guess we'll stick with what we have for now, and that's fine. So we'll burn that, and we will pick up from the bonfire over in the chapel at the start of the next episode, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this one. 
and I will see you all next time.